Let's learn how to auto lip sync in Adobe Animate. Let's get started. Tip tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Today we're inside of Adobe Animate learning how to lip sync our characters. We can take you through how to automatically lip sync, uh, which in my opinion, produces all right results and then I'll show you a quick way or the quickest way I've figured out uh, to lip sync manually um, to your character. So let's crack on. First things first, I'll just explain the setup that I've got here. It's basically a single symbol. All these keyframes are doing is squishing and stretching him a little bit because inside of this symbol, each time he squishes and stretches, I've just got this character changing poses. Boop, 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 like so. There is a second layer with a mouth on it. And inside the mouth layer, we have several frames, each of which has a phenome or phoneme, I can't remember how you pronounce it, uh, attributed to it. We have neutral, R, E, E, S, D, F, L, M, R, W, and O. Okay, now these are the uh, phenomes or phonemes that uh, Adobe Animate uses by default to auto lip sync. In order to do this kind of lip syncing, you will need to have a frame for each of these particular shapes. Uh, and I've just labeled these frames above it, the blank ones, so I know at a glance what they are. If you want to know how to draw these, there's tons of little guides on internet if you just Google mouth shapes and things like that. But essentially, these 12 are the ones you'll need to get started and follow along with this tutorial. As you can see, you can probably just sit in front of a mirror and go, uh, mm, like that, and just see how those mouth shapes are made. OK, so that is the setup of our um, stage here. And it's otherwise a very simple technique. Inside of our um, symbol here, we're just going to double click. And I have a blank layer for audio. I'm going to, from my library, Take my lip sync dot wav and apply that to the layer. I'll just preview it for you. Let's learn how to auto lip sync in Adobe Animate. Let's get started. And it's very crunchy because um, Adobe Animate will do its best to destroy all of your audio. If you don't want it to be destroyed when it's published, just go to your published settings and choose raw 44 kilohertz stereo and that will stop it from being compressed. So let's just drag that onto our stage. And you, as you can see, I've already set it up to be enough frames to um, cover the entire audio wave file. Let's learn how to auto lip sync in Adobe Animate. Let's get started. Let's so learn. that's now uh, inside the symbol, but you'll notice that if we test the movie, it doesn't actually play the audio. And that's because you'll need a layer of audio back on your main stage, like so. To auto Let's learn how to auto that will lip then sync export. in Adobe so this audio layer on the inside is just for the syncing. Uh, once you've synced, you can remove it if you want to. Uh, OK, so let's go to our mouth layer. And the auto lip syncing is actually really quick. What you need to do is go to the properties of your object on the layer. And you'll notice down at the bottom you have looping here, frame picker, etc., and then the option for lip syncing. Just select that lip syncing option and you'll notice all of the phonemes or phenomes, I can never remember, uh, lined up in a uh, grid for you. You need to go to your um, different mouth shapes. I'm just going to call them mouth shapes from now on. Go to your different mouth shapes and select each of the thumbnails and choose the frame that you'd like to be assigned to that noise when that character makes that noise. Neutral, for example, I'm going to have as a smile. Ah, uh, I'm going to have as this ah uh, shape that we made before and so on. D is going to have to obviously be D. So I've named these the same. Um, you can name them whatever you want. And I'm just going to go through and link all of these up. There's er over here. Where's er? I can't find er. Er, there we go. There's s, and there is o, and there is woo. So now all of these are v seams or phonemes. I think v seams is the shape of the mouth that it makes when making a noise, and phonemes is the other way around. I don't know. If you know, let me know. Mouth shapes, we'll call them mouth shapes. Uh, once you've done that, make sure you sync with the audio in the layer audio or whatever uh, layer your audio is actually in and hit done. And that's gonna process and bam, it's created a bunch of keyframes and it's labeled all of those keyframes handily for us. So let's take a look. Let's learn how to auto lip sync in Adobe Animate. Let's get started. Looks all right, let's go back up to our main layer. Let's learn how to auto lip sync in Adobe Animate. Let's get started. Let's learn how to auto lip sync in Adobe Animate. 
looks okay. But if you notice, uh, if you're happy with that, fine, crack on, you're done, you're finished. But if you notice, so we know here that's an L, but it's actually done this uh, shape. And that's to do with the fact that A, analyzing audio is very complicated, but B, everyone in the world has a slightly different accent, a slightly different way of talking. It's never going to be perfectly accurate. So my preferred method, what we will do, is I will duplicate all of these frames uh, and we'll make sure to extend the main timeline as well to uh, 188 frames. So we'll just do that quickly. And I'll show you the method that I use when lip syncing. So we now have two copies of this audio file. What I'm going to do is just clear all of these keyframes like so and i'm going to open up my frame picker uh window up here okay there we go we've got all of our shapes uh the way you can do that is just by selecting your mouth shape going to the object and choosing frame picker if you make sure that your uh, graphic is set to play single frame for the graphic and then click your frame picker that'll open up this window and you'll notice now this shape won't animate Let's learn how to auto lip sync in Adobe Animate. Okay. Now, all we're going to do is just zoom in on the mouth a little bit and scrub through our footage. Now, if you're scrubbing through your footage and you don't hear it, that's because your audio is not set to stream. It needs to be set to stream in order for you to be able to scrub and hear what's going on. So now we're just going to select our frame with our layer on it. Go to neutral to start. And about here, this next frame, we can see that's where the uh sound starts. So we're going to select the uh from here. Le, le, le. So the eh, eh, eh noise will probably be let's, let's, yeah. That to me, even though it's an e sound, it looks more than ah here. Yeah, so we'll use the e. Then there's ts, so we can use uh, the s shape for both s's and t's. Let's. So by this point, the L comes in. So we'll just add an L here. Uh, l, 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 l. Let's learn. Yes. But we can see in the middle, when you go to let's, l, l, your mouth kind of goes l, l, like closes in, um, which means that a frame before this, if we move to the D shape, which is slightly uh, wider, Learn how to, you can see that it makes that let's learn, let's learn. So you should be exaggerating all of this, basically. Let's learn how to, okay. Let's learn, uh, 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 even though it's an E, it's actually an uh sound. So let's learn. Learn. There's an R there, but you probably just go back to like an N shape. Let's learn. Mm -hmm. So for the N, you can either use the S or the D. Um, you might be able to get away with using an E like this, but uh, let's learn. That looks more better to me. Let's learn how to learn how, 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 how. You might be able to go to how. No, that might be weird. There we go. So this is where we get to the nice bits. Ow. So I like to go to the U and then on the W go to really small. Let's learn how to auto lips. How to, to, so you don't want the wider one, you want the to, 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 go straight to the U. And how to auto lips. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward through the rest of this so you don't have to watch me do the whole thing. Let's learn how to auto lip. Uh, you can see already that's a bit better. Let's learn how to. Okay, let's fast forward and I'll see you on the side. <laughs>
Okay, so that probably took about three minutes for me to do. And let's take a look at the results. Let's learn how to auto lip sync in Adobe Animate. Let's get started. That to me looks a lot, lot better than that first version. Now, if you want to, we can compare them. Uh, let's test the movie. And the first one will be the auto one and the second will be our manual one. Let's learn how to auto lip sync in Adobe Animate. Let's get started. Okay, oops, I didn't, uh, <laughs> didn't actually duplicate the audio on this main section here. That's my bad. So we'll grab that and pop it over here. Now that starts on frame 95 and in here that starts on frame 95. So we should be good. Let's try that again. <laughs> to auto lip sync in Adobe Animate. Let's get started. Let's learn how to auto lip sync in Adobe Animate. Let's get started. Let's learn yeah, how to auto second one looks a lot better. So to save okay, any distractions, let's remove these frames here. We can check that it's on the right frame. First frame 80 which is at first frame 80. That's not correct. It should be first frame 95. So if we just remove all of these, because the first versions are rubbish. And take a look. Let's learn how to auto lip sync in Adobe Animate. Let's get started. Let's learn how to auto lip sync in Adobe Animate. Let's get started. Let's learn how Perfect. to auto lip sync. Now, I won't leave that on loop whilst I chat. Hopefully that's given you a idea on how to start uh, your lip syncing in Adobe Animate. There's obviously a lot more to it than that, but that is the basic process that I use um, to lip sync my characters. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you found it useful. If you did, let me know. Uh, if you didn't, also let me know. If you want me to explore more things, Guess what? Let me know. And I'll see you next time on another episode of Tip Top. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.